Did you know that you can help manage your emotions through physical movement of your body? Head on over to couchtoactive.com forward slash emotions and get your free guide today. Hey, hey there, friends. It's your bad couch guru, Lynn Lindbergh. And yesterday we talked about overused fitness quotes that are still good. Now I want to talk about a couple of them that I really find cringeworthy. And, and that's because they're things we tell ourselves, but really they just aren't helpful uh, for most of us. And they're actually kind of demotivating. And so here we go. The cringeworthy fitness quotes I hear that I just wish people would stop saying. Number one, hehe. <laughs> No pain, no gain. Yep, you knew that one was coming. Because I got to tell you, that is from back in the 70s and the 80s when we thought you actually had to be in pain in order to get better fitness. We know better. We know that's not true. We do know there is something called DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. And we do know that you can safely push yourself and you can safely push muscle groups in order to get stronger muscles. But that's not the rule of thumb. Overall, you can gain incredible amounts of strength without really experiencing pain when you're looking for exercise and fitness for a regular life of health and happiness. Okay, next one. Pain is a weakness leaving the body. Let me tell you, that is also one that depending on how you interpret it could could really screw you up. Because if you are in the gym or doing exercise and something is painful, your body is trying to tell you something. And when you have pain from uh, just pushing yourself cardiovascularly wise and you're not pushing too far, but you're uncomfortable, that's fine. If you're having some pain because you're working a weight machine and you're working your muscles hard and your muscles are really fatigued and uncomfortable, that's fine. But usually pain means your body's trying to tell you to stop because something's not right. So the quote, pain is weakness leaving the body is the opposite. A lot of times pain can mean that you're actually hurting your body and it is weakness entering your body. So, and even (laughs) we could really split hairs here. And I could tell you even that if you have pain, because of your muscles that you're working out, uh, technically you're actually making those muscles weaker because you're uh, damaging the fibers in those muscles and it is the recovery and the rest period that actually builds up your muscles, which makes you stronger. So there we go. All right, here's another one. I see this all the time and I don't like it. A one hour workout is only 4% of your day. I call BS on that one because let me tell you, 4% of my day for a one hour workout, like, no, I could say in in 24 hours, technically 4% of that is one hour. But okay, folks, most of us, we need eight hours of sleep. And especially if we're exercising, we need eight or more hours of sleep. We also work eight hour jobs. We spend an hour and a half for most of us from the second the alarm goes off until we get dressed, get to work, get our commute and get in our desk. That's easily an hour and a half or more for some of us. We spend an hour and a half on the way back home too. By the time you leave the office and pick up groceries, run an errand and come home. And and that's even before dinner or anything. So we spend at least two hours a day adulting and doing chores and laundry and paying the bills and trying to just keep up on everything. So so 21 hours of most of us, 21 hours of our day is gone before we get to do anything like exercise, spend time with our kids, have a phone conversation with a friend, do something we enjoy with someone, or, or, or even not even that glorious. 21 hours are gone before we get to start cooking dinner for the family and doing dishes and doing laundry and taking care of a sick kid. Like it, that one just drives me crazy. So most of us, that's just a guilt laden, guilt ridden one. And it really, it comes down to most of us, Monday through Fridays, we get three hours three hours a day to do 
chores, dinner, kids, homework, all that. That's only that's and if they if you spend one hour of that three hours doing exercise, that's thirty percent of your time. So anyhow, the math just doesn't work out on that one. I've never liked it. So uh, I want to let you know, oh, you're not alone on that one. Okay, and this one drives me crazy for obvious reasons. Suck it up, so one day you don't have to suck it in. So demeaning, so focused on the outside and our body, nothing about health and wellness. In fact, the word suck it up for most people is a really negative thing, right? And so it just makes us hate or dislike or dread exercise more than ever. So uh, I don't like that one either. Uh, so uh, there we go. There's the cringe worthy quotes of fitness that I just do not appreciate. Alrighty, friends, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a fabulous day. Bye bye now. Couch to Active's number one goal is to help you fill the gap between knowing you should exercise consistently and actually getting it done with a smile. Head on over to couchtoactive.com, get the course, get the book, get going today at couchtoactive.com.